Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, December 1st. How did that happen? Uh, it's a uh, cold day here in uh, southeastern Pennsylvania, as you would expect for December. Uh, we actually had our first winter storm advisory last night. It didn't amount to anything, but it was there. Um, I woke up this morning, just a little bit of frost on the grass, but uh, <clears throat> beautiful morning. It's uh, just a perfect December morning. Uh, it's still early. The sun's just about coming up, actually, so getting an early start today. Got a lot to do. I uh, want to watch football at 1 o'clock, so i got to fit everything in before then, which is fine. So, it's uh, weekend after Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope you've all had a, had a very uh, good Thanksgiving. You got to spend time with, with family and friends and enjoyed lots of good food uh, and of course football and uh, you know I watched Dallas lose and the only thing better than watching Dallas lose is watching New England lose and, and except for when New England played da oh never mind yeah it was it was a lot of fun had a had a great week actually took the week off from work uh, got a lot of work done down here in the shop um, awful lot of work and I'm, I'm happy about that Things are really functioning well in the new shop space, so that's uh, that that's that's just great. I'm really happy about all the changes that I made over there, and it's making it much easier for me to to do the work that I do. So hopefully, you saw um, a few days ago I posted a video on my uh, giveaway that's coming up. So I'm doing a giveaway for um, these replacement stems for Missouri Meerschaum corncob pipes. They're Christmas themed. Uh, but I just happen to have one here. <laughs> it's because I haven't put it back from when I made the video the other day. Christmas themed stems. Really, really cool. Um, hopefully if you, if you get a chance you'll check out that video. I'll link it above and below. And uh, consider entering. If you, if you make videos uh, VR your odds are really good if you make a VR right now because we've only got uh, two or three folks that have committed to doing that whereas if you want to leave a comment there's a lot of guys that have entered on that end and uh, that's going to be a much more interesting competition I think but should be fun and uh, I, I like the idea anyway uh, we'll be doing a live stream on December 14th I we we haven't talked about the live stream since I did that um, back in in mid November when I was celebrating the the reopening of the shop, and honestly, I really enjoyed the live stream. I, I thought it was uh, I, I didn't think I was going to, uh, just based on watching them. I mean, I have to admit that I they're not my favorite type of video. I do watch some of them, and and I'm not saying that I'm against them or anything, but they just. They're not my favorite, but they do seem to be quite popular. And I think I understand why now, because I um, I really enjoyed doing that. Having that direct interaction was a lot of fun. Even if at times it was a bit off the topic that I wanted to go on, it helped me go on a topic that you wanted to go on. So, yeah, it was very enjoyable. So, I'm not going to be doing a, a weekly live stream. I just, I, I don't. I don't want to do that uh, for for a whole number of reasons that I won't get into. But I think maybe monthly, maybe. Um, why not? It, they're easy enough to set up. I mean, they're easier to put together than one of these videos, to be honest. So yeah, maybe maybe monthly. Um, but we're definitely going to do one on December fourteenth, and that is going to be when we draw the winners for this uh, this giveaway. Uh, but again, I'll, I'll link to that video. Now, I need to figure out what time to, to actually have that uh, on December 14th. And it's a Saturday, and I'd like for as many people as possible to be able to, to join. Um, and, but with the West Coast uh, Europe issues and, and all of that, I, I'm just not sure when to do that. So I've got to I've got to sit down and actually look at the time map and, and try to pick a good time. If any of you guys have suggestions for a good time that's going to be, I know no. Basically, I'm looking for a time that makes no one happy. 
So, because I know I can't make everyone happy, so I might as well make everyone equally unhappy. So, let, let me know your thoughts. Um, so, I go back to work on Monday, and I am then going to be, uh, I've got two weeks, uh, I think it's two full weeks, and of course this time of year, two full weeks uh, is not that bad because we're we're kind of over the hump with the year-end stuff and there's a lot of, you know, kind of winding down that's going to occur over the next two weeks. Uh, not not going to be, uh, you know, it's not like the last day of school by any, any stretch, but it, it's, it's going to be better than it has been. Uh, since about the beginning of October, so I'm looking forward to to that. We've got a, a lot of work still to get done, but we'll get there. I don't know if I mentioned this is uh, old Jill Kranz in a seven LE. I think it's three eleven KS, and. I actually just reamed this this morning. Uh, it's funny, I, I bought that reamer off of uh, Phil Rivera that I showed you a while back. And it, boy, if you if you need a reamer just to maintain your pipes, uh, go go see Phil's uh, channel. I'll, I'll link him as well. Uh, that little triangular reamer is fantastic. But the problem is I, I got it and I immediately tried it on every pipe that I <laughs> that I had because I enjoy using it so much. And I noticed that uh, some of my airways were getting to the point where I was having trouble, you know, putting the tobacco in. And I looked at it, and I had underestimated how much cake had formed on some of the pipes. This was one of them. Uh, and I, I thought that I was just doing a maintenance reaming when really I needed to, to do a sort of deep reaming. Uh, so I brought this guy down this morning and gave it a deep reaming and ran some... Uh, alcohol on, on uh, pipe cleaners through it and all that, so it's it's a, it's a happy pipe now. Not that it wasn't a happy pipe before, but it really was getting difficult to uh, to put the tobacco in, and I don't want to be one of those guys, so, you know, getting, getting the wife's knitting needle out to, to tamp. Um, and this old Joe Krantz is if you missed the story, um, Haunted Bookshop was impossible to get for a while. Uh, I didn't want to tap into my cellar because I, it's kind of a personal challenge that I have that once I sell or something, I, I don't touch it until I'm retired. Uh, unless it's something that, I, you know, one-off tins of things. But something like Haunted Bookshop where I'm really trying to build a, a storehouse of that, uh, I, I don't touch it until I'm retired. So... When Haunted Bookshop couldn't be purchased, I broke out a can of Old Joe, a tin of, a jar of Old Joe Grants, and uh, I've been smoking that. I've since gotten the Haunted Bookshop in. Might put some of it in jars. So one um, sad bit of news I, I wanted to pass on to you is that I heard from our friend uh, Cliff, Cliff Higgins uh, yesterday and his dad, who had been quite ill for some time, uh, passed away yesterday afternoon. And I know many of you were praying for Cliff and his father. Uh, I certainly was, and, and I continue to. And, and please continue to pray for, for Cliff and his family, because uh, they, they need uh, the care and support right now. But as I mentioned in my my prayer request video, both Cliff and his dad are are strong in their were strong in their faith, um, and uh, you know Cliff's going to be okay. So and and his his dad's going to be okay. So please remember Cliff and his family in your prayers, uh, especially as we're moving into the uh, the full brunt of the the holiday season here. Um, I don't think I really have a lot more to, to discuss today. I'm sorry if this has been a bit rambly. Um, I, I know I've, I'm not, uh, terribly organized in my thoughts. It is still quite early. Uh, but I wanted to get this video taken care of 
uh, I gotta go. Probably go out to breakfast this morning. Get some get some grocery shopping done. I need to hit the hardware store for a few things and uh, try to be home in time for for uh, for kickoff at one o'clock. So we shall see. I will get off to that. I'll let you all get off to your Sunday. Have a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Bye now.